That's coming up. Uh, Regis Pro Gray. Devin Haney, 140 pounds. How y'all see that going? Uh, I'm going with Devin Haney simply because I respect that man hustle. You feel me? He, he, to me, he all about business. You know, he's just trying to get the best fights he can. He fought Loma Chico, uh, took the pay cut with uh, Cambosis twice, fought in Australia. And he moved up and immediately fought um, Pro Gray. So I respect his hustle. So I'm simply going off of him just because of that. I gotta pay homage to his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing to say. Bill Haney, bro. Bill Haney, man. Bill Haney is the man, dog. Bill Haney did that shit. Bill, yeah. Bill Haney had a plan. He stuck to the plan. He did that shit. So, I mean, I'm a little biased in that towards that. But as a fighter, as a fighter, I would want to see it. As a fighter. Who? As a you, fighter. You I see would want to see it. Why? The underdog is on? No, not the underdog, man. It's it's kinda it was kinda the be I can't get over um this shit's stupid. I can't get over um Dan Hanger pushing uh Loma Chico like he did. <laughs> yeah. really? That shit really work. pissed me off, dog. Work. When he pushed the shit out of Loma Chico at the way in that time, bro. He, that shit man could have got I forgot, up. I forgot all about that. Yeah, 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 you see how he pushed him, bro? Yeah, it was it, it was oh, a husky. Boy, his it was a husky was joke. Yeah. yeah. So as a fighter, like he really Dan Haney really he really rolled me the wrong way as a fighter. I understand he's trying to play the bad guy, whatever. I like him as a, you know, as a fighter, as a kid, or whatever. Else. But I just, I can't get over that. I can't. I, it's gonna take some time for me to get over that shit. <laughs> because the man really could have fell on the back of his head. Anything could have happened. You know, we not seen the worst shit. You mean you know about the dude that was in the wheelchair that got hit behind the head that time? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so, I mean, shit happened. You see what I'm it's saying? It's about Pritchard Collins. I think that's his name. He's still Pritchard. Uh, he he's actually in a coma. Yeah. Well, not a coma. No, no, not a coma no more. But yeah, he was in a coma for a while. But yeah, he's in the yeah, wheelchair. Yeah, so you get what yeah. I'm saying, man. You know, I'm still, you know, I'm a fighter from old school, man. I'd, I'd have been hurt. I'd have been hurt. I'd have, I'd, I got, that's why I stopped boxing because of injuries and shit like that. Way, you know what I'm saying? And it'd be neurology type shit. It could be, you know, it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? So it just ain't, it just ain't nothing to play with, man. And I think him being a young kid, he just don't understand that shit. And I, I that's the only thing I didn't appreciate about Bill because I think Bobby, that's his, that's his child, that's his fighter. The emotional front of the but I think his, his dad should check that shit. I hope he did behind closed doors. I hope he did tell him, man, I'm gonna do shit. Like, I hope he did, you know what I'm saying? It, if it's me, I'm thinking he did it to sell the fight. That was, it was I, first I, I, I get it, but the, what he did was, no, that was too dangerous. What? The way he pushed him was too dangerous. We ain't talking about a shove, take your hands off. Mm -hmm. You know how you like sitting here and I boom, and I push you and I take my hand off. You know, like when you hit the bag. You know, they tell you not to push the bag because you punch through the bag, right? Mm -hmm. That man pushed clean through. <laughs> And this man is square on his feet. Like, if you standing right there square and I push you, yeah. you're going to fall back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that, that, that's all I'm saying, man. But other than that, man, I, I, I love I love Bill Hammond's Hand, strategy. I love the team. I love the, the father-son team that they have. I love all of that. The only thing I don't like is what Devin did that time, trying to sell that bullshit. I get over it sooner or later <laughs> or whatever. Else. But right now, I, I, I mean, as a fighter, I would want Regis. Junior. As far as the X's and O's, who has the edge? Uh, I can't really say nothing on that one. I really, uh, I watched a few of David Haney fights, but with Pro Grace, I really watched none of his fights besides Josh Taylor. Mm. And I think that was a really good fight. He could have went either way to me. But, yeah, I can say that he real rough and all that. But, you know, David Haney got the feet. He got the legs. You know, he like, he like to move around a lot. He got the ring. He like to jab and move. He, he quick with it, too. So, you can't be rough if you can't catch the man. So, I go I can definitely see. Yeah, I can definitely see Devin Haney win. That's why I said. I mean, you know, as a yeah, everybody said the same thing. The boy yeah, jab, jabbing. I can definitely move. see him win. I can see him making it an easy night. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But Regis is fucking rough. So mm -hmm. just like Lomachenko got him in there and, and, and made it a little kind of a dog fight. You got in a dog fight with Lomachenko, that little bitty motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So Regis, also he'll try to press him though. Right. So if Regis, if Regis make it a damn, make it a dog fight. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I, I will say that, though. He made it. But that's why uh, skills pay the bills and stuff like that. Mm. How, you, how you make a fight happen, you feel me? So if you do make it rough, I can see if we're just going, you know, and winning that fight. But at the same time, if you don't, if the boy jab that good, that the handy jab that good. But, but like finally, let me say this again. I can't praise the team enough and the daddy enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we love the connection. Yeah, I love it.